Hi guys, Brain the Squirrel. I am back with another video. And if you're a wrestling fan, you will know that Fastlane is this Sunday. So what I thought I'd do for this video is I'd run through my predictions. Uh, basically just let you know what I think is going to happen. Stick around to the end. There's a little summit extra, so keep an eye out for that. So let's just get straight into it. So the first match is Becky Lynch and Naomi against Carmella and Natalia. There's not really much going into this. Had little tiny skits backstage, but it's not really been anything to be honest. You can tell it's literally just a filler match. Becky Lynch is one of the best female superstars on SmackDown, so I think I'm gonna go with Becky and Naomi on this one. Even though like Carmella's Miss Money in the Bank and Natalia is part of the Hart family. Becky Lynch and Naomi, not much more to say on it. Next match we've got is Shinsuke Nakamura against Rusev Day. Now going into this, uh, usually when it's a Shinsuke match, I'll straight away say Shinsuke Nakamura. But for this one, I actually want to go with Rusev. Chances are they will probably have Shinsuke win this. But I want to back Rusev in this because he is an amazing superstar and I feel like they're not pushing him to the potential that he actually has. And I feel like he's possibly main event like status. He's, he's that kind of superstar. He's phenomenal in the ring. He's brilliant on the mic. You can see that he's going to go far in the future, but I don't think he's being given the push that he deserves right now. I'm going to take Rusev on this one. So next match we've got is for the United States Championship and it's the glorious one, Bobby Roode, against the Viper, Randy Orton. Not something I really want to say, but Randy Orton's kind of got boring and stale. You know what's coming from him. It's just constantly the same thing in basically every match. You know what moves he's going to hit, when he's going to hit them. His, his in-ring moves are like so predictable now that it just makes most of the match boring. As opposed to Bobby Roode, who if you've seen him in TNA, seen him in NXT, you'll know that he knows how to keep things fresh. He knows how to keep a match going, how to keep you interested in the match. I I'm going to go with Bobby Roode on this one. I, I want to say that Bobby Roode's going to hold a proper gold in the future. Not that the United States Championship isn't proper gold, but I mean like top gold. Like either the Universal Championship or the... WWE World Heavyweight Championship because he's just that caliber of superstar. My pick there, Bobby Roode. Then moving on to the SmackDown Women's Championship. Uh, this is Charlotte Flair against Ruby Riot. In this match, I do think we're going to see some involvement in some form from the Riot squad. Who knows, maybe it'll be that they get involved and then the ref sends them to the back, uh, kicks them away from ringside. Who knows? I think we're definitely going to see at least some involvement from them. But that's not to say that I think Ruby Riot's going to win this match. I do I do say that Charlotte's going to win this match. Mainly because I don't think Ruby Riot's there yet. She's not in a place where she can be at the top, like top, top of the SmackDown women's division just yet. She will be there, but I think she needs to follow with this Riot Squad thing for a bit. The Riot Squad needs to crush as many teams as they can, then she'll be where she needs to be, I think. Charlotte Flair for that one. Moving on to the one that I think will possibly be the most exciting match. It's the Usos versus The New Day for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Now, anyone who's like been a big wrestling fan for a long time will know that The Usos have been amazing since, literally, since they came into the WWE. This whole day one-ish stuff, it does speak truth because they have been one of the best tag teams since they came in. It's mad to think that they haven't had their WrestleMania moment, considering that they've been around for a while and they have been at the top of the tag team division for so long. Uh, going on to the New Day, another amazing tag team. They defied the odds. They, took, they were given a gimmick. The fans hated it, like absolutely spat all over it. They were getting booed every time they came out. And this was when they were like face. But they managed to take that gimmick, work, work it around, and make it something that is literally a fan favourite tag team now. And all you really need to say about the New Day is it's got Kofi Kingston in. Kofi Kingston, one of, 
most exciting singles superstars for a long time. And then he got with the New Day and it allowed him to do a lot more exciting stuff. For this match, a difficult one, but I think I'm going to have to go with the New Day. Literally because of something that my brother said. And my brother said if the New Day win it, the Usos could invoke the rematch clause for WrestleMania. And then we'd see New Day versus the Usos on the big stage. And who knows, maybe they could do a, a bit more with it. They could turn it into a tables match, TLC, who knows go with the new day on that one and finally we move on to the big one the wwe world heavyweight championship match this is a six pack challenge in this match is Dolph Ziggler, kevin owens sammy Zayn, baron corbin and aj styles i think five of these men deserve to be in this match Dolph Ziggler, top superstar finally being put at the top baron corbin Future big superstar. Sami Zayn, definitely been overlooked since he first came like up to the main roster. And he's finally in the top picture now. He's finally getting that recognition that he deserves. And Kevin Owens, don't really need to say much on Kevin Owens. Look at his first ever match in the main roster against John Cena. His first night on the main roster beats the biggest superstar in WWE. AJ Styles. AJ Styles is literally one of the best wrestlers in the world. Wherever he has gone, he's pushed his way to the top of that. TNA, top. New Japan, top. Ring of Honor, top. He literally just smashes everything. I want AJ Styles to win this match because I want to see AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura, main event of WrestleMania for the championship. Five star match in the making. Uh, the other man in this match is John Cena, who I don't think should be in this match. I actually enjoy watching John Cena. He's great in the ring, he's good on the mic. Maybe he's a corporate kiss ass. Maybe behind the scenes he does suck up to management and all that lot. But the truth is, it's not the whole backstage crap and that that I like. It's seeing what goes on in the ring. But the fact of the matter is, he's just had championship implication match. He's literally just had the Elimination Chamber match, which would have gave him a shot at the title at WrestleMania. And he lost. Plain and simple, he lost. So what happens? He jumps to the other brand and says, Can I get an opportunity, please? And it just takes him one quick match. Yeah, fair enough. The match was against AJ Styles. Not like an easy win or anything. John Cena shouldn't have had a look in. That opportunity could have gone to someone else. But basically, yeah, that's my predictions for Fastlane. Now, I said there was going to be a little bit at the end, and this is what it is. I've now given you my predictions. If I get half or more wrong of those predictions, I will be giving away a £10 Amazon voucher. Now, basically, all you have to do to enter this is comment down below on this video who your favourite superstar is. If I got half or more wrong, I'll put all the names into like, I don't know, a big wheel or something. Who knows? Uh, and I'll pick someone at random. I hope you did like this video. If you did like it, give it a like. Uh, subscribe and hit that notification button so you can always stay up to date on my content. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one.